But the rest is not going anywhere. I know, I just can't wait. For what? Dorothy, didn't you notice? His pocket was bulging. Oh, that could have been a gap. bag of gumdrops. No, it was a square bulge, like a box for a ring. I think he's got a present for me. <laughs> You know, I think you're the only woman in the world who can stand on the stage with a spotlight in her eye and still see a diamond in a man's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Mr. Edmund, won't you pray kindly? Please, like thank us. you. Hi, Dorothy. You were magnificent tonight, though. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you were good, too. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> guys. That makes me feel all warm inside. Is it the right size? Well, it can never be too big. Just that little <laughs> part of it doesn't look too small to you, Dorothy. <laughs> it looks like it should have a high ball around it, honey. Is that what you mean? Does it fit your finger? Oh, yes! It fits perfectly! Oh, Daddy, I bet you made me the happiest girl in the whole wide world. Each other, who else do? Well, I don't know about you, Gus. I always sort of figured Lorelei here would end up with the Secretary of Treasury. Dorothy, guess what? On Saturday, we're sailing to the Isle de Paris. We're getting married in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not get married in America and then go to Europe? Well, um, oh, is that the old-fashioned way of doing things? Well, we've made our plans, so. Come in. Mr. Ezra? Yes. Long distance call, sir. Oh, very good. I'll be right there. Oh, dear. It must be farther. I hope nothing's happened. I'll meet you at my table, yes? Fathers. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Hugo's is old man. It's too bad, honey. Nothing's going wrong this time. Oh, Lorelei, the old man is not about to let you commit matrimony with his son. I think at this point you let us shove him down the elevator shaft. <laughs> Do I think? I'm sailing on Saturday with or without Mr. Esmond, and I'm not coming back from Europe until he comes and gets me, when we're in France and his father can't phone him twice a day. Oh, Gus is never going to let you go alone. Sometimes Mr. Esmond finds it very difficult to say no to me. Well, that's very possible. 